call for a helicopter extract. We're going to build us a little scenario. We're going to go to this location. We're going to go to F2, and then we're going to place down a recon patrol. Next, we're going to go to the map, and we're going to go to this location. We're going to choose F1 for assets, and then go to helicopter, and we're going to choose an UH-80 Ghost Hawk. We're going to place him right here on the helipad and face him this direction. Next, we're going to edit the helicopter and give him a variable name of Heli-1. And that's all we have to do. We're going to give the helicopter a waypoint. Now, there's a couple ways to give vehicles waypoints. When they're highlighted, you're going to see this wire box around them in the 3D editor. Uh, in the 2D editor, their color will light up like that. And then, of course, you have the Entities panel here where the uh, their name will uh, change to green. So once you have that, you go to F4 for waypoints, and you can choose whatever waypoint you want. We're going to click on Move, and this is one way to place a waypoint. So what you do is you just place the waypoint, and then you have a waypoint. The other method is the same function. Click on the helicopter so it's highlighted. And then what you do is you hold down left shift and right click on the spot that you want the waypoint to be placed and it will automatically place a move waypoint. So we're going to put the waypoint right about here, go to the map, and we're going to go to our recon patrol team here. And while the waypoint is highlighted, you're going to hold down left shift and right click on the ground near our team. Then we're going to edit the move waypoint and in the list for waypoint type we're going to choose load. Then we're going to scroll down and we're going to set the behavior of the helicopter to careless that way if there's any action going on the helicopter will ignore it and then pretty much just go to the location and land. Next we're going to scroll down to where it says waypoint timer and we're going to give this a time of 12 seconds. And 12 seconds is basically how long the helicopter is going to wait. He'll land and then he'll wait 12 seconds. And that'll give you time to load up your AI or get loaded yourself if you're just by yourself. Next, we're going to give him another waypoint. We're going to scroll out and we're going to go to this location. At this location, there's a helipad. Hold down left shift and then right click and you're going to see a helipad here. We're going to move this to right about there and we're going to edit the waypoint and we're going to give this waypoint waypoint type of transport unload. Then we're going to scroll down and we're going to give the waypoint timer of 10 seconds each box. What that's going to do is once the helicopter lands and unloads its cargo, it's going to wait 10 seconds. Just It'll give you time for you to basically get out of the helicopter yourself and or with your AI if you're commanding any or with any. So we'll just hit OK for that. Let's go back to the map. From here, click on the waypoint so that it's highlighted again. And we're going to go back over here. And you're going to hold down left shift. And then you're going to right click and add another waypoint. From here, you're going to branch off that and do another waypoint. And then we're going to edit the last waypoint. And we're going to scroll all the way up and to where it says land. After you choose land, we're going to go to the on activation box and we're going to put in a little code. So this code is going to be the helicopter's name, so heli1, and then space, and then you're going to put engine on with a capital O, and then space, and then false, and then semicolon. Once the helicopter arrives, He's basically going to land and then turn off his engine, and that's it. Once you have that, then just hit OK. Next, we're going to go to the location of our recon team leader, and we're going to go here, 
what we're going to do here is we're going to highlight our recon team leader like you see here hold down left shift and then right click on the ground which will give him a move waypoint then we're going to edit his waypoint and we're going to give him a get in waypoint so scroll up to where you see get in and just hit ok and that's it next you're going to right click his waypoint you're going to go to connect and then you're going to go to set waypoint activation and once you do that you're going to see a blue line coming off your cursor you're going to connect that to the load waypoint of the helicopter so if we look at this in 3d you're going to see the blue line connecting from the get in to the load waypoint of the helicopter. Next we're going to go back to the ghost talk so just click on the ghost talk in the entities panel right click it and then go here then we're going to go to triggers and we're going to choose a trigger without a size we're going to place that right about here and what you're going to do is you're going to right click the trigger going to go to connect and then down to where it says set waypoint activation and then you're going to connect that to the helicopter's first waypoint so if you go to the map and scroll in, you could see that the helicopter's wait, first waypoint has the trigger synced to that first waypoint. Next, we're going to double click the trigger, and then we're going to go to activation. And then under activation, we're going to choose radio alpha. This is going to be a radio trigger. We're going to go to the text box at the top, and we're going to type in helicopter extract then down in the on activation box we're gonna put a hint so we're gonna type in hint and then space and then quote and this is alpha one we need extract do you copy put a question mark and then a exclamation point and then a semicolon to close the code all right, so basically when the player calls the helicopter to for extract, you're going to see this hint pop up and then the helicopter is going to come. Next, we're going to go about halfway where the helicopter is going to fly and we're going to place a trigger right in the center, right about here and we're going to edit the trigger we're going to give it a square trigger and then before we hit ok we're going to put activation as blue 4 present because the helicopter is on the blue 4 side and then we're going to go to the on activation and we're going to put a hint we're going to put hint and then space and then quote this is black hawk one we copy you we are en route to your position. And then exclamation point, end quote, and then semicolon. Now I just hit OK. And let's edit this trigger a little bit. And we'll do something like that. And then square it up. And then we will expand it just in case the helicopter wants to swerve or something. And uh, we're going to... Make sure that it's size. So it's going to be an infinite size. So if you actually go to this location, you're going to see that the trigger will go up infinitely. So the helicopter will fly through this, the hint will go off, and that's it. Let's uh, save our mission. And we're going to save this as Heli Extract. Save that. And uh, let's test it out. So what you have to do is you're going to hit zero on your keyboard and you're going to scroll down to where it says radio and you're going to see helicopter extract so we're going to choose that here at the top is the hint that we set for the helicopters trigger to come so this says this is alpha one we need extract Do you copy so the helicopter is firing up its engines you can see them down there I'm going to tell my guys to one more file and you don't have to do this but for the sake of uh, atmosphere this is Black Hawk 1 we copy you we are en route to your position 
So that's because he went through the trigger. Now let's back up a little. Now if you want your AI to get onto the heli helicopter and he's within range, what you could do is you just hit your tilt key and hit 4 and then scroll down where you see the helicopter and then hit enter and tell him to get into the helicopter. That'll force the helicopter to get down and land. Self. And there we go. Here we take off. And now we're going to go to this location. Player's always gonna be kicked out at first. And for some reason he didn't want to stay, so we're gonna tell him to tell our guys to disembark. seconds and then he's going to lift off and we're going to go to spectator So something to keep in mind that when you are playing with just other players, if maybe you're playing co-op, and when the helicopter lands, you're going to be automatically kicked out of the helicopter. Now if you're playing with AI like I was here, the helicopter is not going to kick out the AI. You're going to have to do that yourself by hitting tilde and then pressing 4 which is disembark and then basically you tell them to disembark. Now as you can see the helicopter after it dropped me off it was already ready to take off and go to that next waypoint but since it had my guys on it still I had to tell them to disembark which basically brought down the helicopter. That's kind of the only drawback of using a linear type of waypoint system like this. Mm -hmm. 